terve. So, what happens next? I think that I'm going to clean the surface of the valve cap and also all the loose stuff from outside of it. Then I would need to change the cam drive gear or something like that. This rounded thingy into here. The new part is pretty much like the old one except there is this small channel which is not here. I believe this has something to do with oiling something when turning around. It grabs oil here, but I believe the Chinese people were wise enough to decide that we don't need that one. Then we have the new rockers here. But then I need to like use the sealing material to get finish the installation and of course before that I will need to do the chain adjustment so we will get rid of the actual problem which was that the gear was one step too far and it did make some noises so that's that. Let's go and do it. All right, let's assemble these rockers. And the old rockers is there and there. And here is the new rockers. Let's have a look. New one looks pretty safe, except this is not so worn down. The old one has has this lip so it's really really worn but if we compare to new one it's like it's like I said when I was disassembling this that I think that this surface should be like this not like this. find the hole here to match the bolt. It looks like it's pretty close now. Now it goes in. That's there. I'm going to apply the correct torques after all is in place. That's there. Then the other one. The 
washer is actually not the same kind of washer. Should I be concerned? Because the rocker is bouncing all around. Hey, hey! I did order these. Wavy bastards. I think the previous owner lost the one uh, washer and replaced it with this small flat washer. And there is a reason why this is so wavy. It prevents the rocker to create this movement inside the cap. So this has the correct rocker. It doesn't move at all. But this makes clonky donkey noise. And that might also be one of the reasons why the head was so loud. So let's replace that one too. Ta da! New rockers in place and no loose clonky donkiness anymore. Now we just need to hope that the cheap rockers will be correct match for the camshaft. But the rockers came with the shaft so that should tell us something. Alright, let's switch the camshaft. Need to tap these. Hefty, righty dighty. So the correct positioning. I don't know if it's ah, that it can't be. It can only be in one way because of the locking. Locking not. If there is any, not sure. Yeah. There is, but... Like this. What's this one? It probably is com coming out. There somehow. Gentle knocking on the door. That was good. All right. So that's the old guy. And here we have the new guy. Let's add the locking pin there. I'm not sure if it matters which way it goes, but I'm pretty sure it has to be like on the bottom of the drive. And it looks like it fits perfectly. Ah, uh, then the locking pin should stay be below this washer which secures the locking pin and the bolts not to come off mosquito catcher I like like animals but these guys I'm not so fond of all right so next we are going to start putting this back in so there is There is only the spacer that needs to go in. This guy here. What do you think? Should I loop everything? I want to 
want everything to be smooth and in correct place. So that's there. Then I think that I will apply the red stuff on the surface is where the camshaft is touching. get rid of the string. No strings attached. So, is this the moment of the truth? This also might be easier if Or the when I stop talking I'm concentrating, I'm sorry because I'm so nervous about this specific task that it makes me hard to do anything else at the same time. This. Right. Well, that's now in. I think it should be wise to check the top dead center before aligning the engine. Looks like we are a little bit off. So. No. It's just perfect. I see yourself. It's probably now we align the chain. Or the shaft. <coughs> but first I should know that which way should the loops point. Lobes point. So what we are trying to achieve is to get the markings on the gear uh, to be aligned with the top of the head. So I'm going through the service manual here and here it says that uh, you need to draw, uh, pull the chain upward. I did that, I pulled this up. It like tightens the chain and then I checked the marking again. That's done. Engage the chain on the cam sprocket with the locating pin hole at the one o'clock position. We have placed the engine on top the center while pulling this chain up here so the loose part is on the intake side of the cylinder because there is the chain tensioner so we can like screw the excess chain inside but if the loose part is on this side it just doesn't work so the chain should be positioned correctly and the sprocket should be also correctly positioned the service manual says that it should the locating pin which is here should be on one one o'clock position. So if we have twelve o'clock here, then there should be one o'clock. It might be twisted in the camera because it's shooting from different angle, but that's the one 
one way to find out the correct position and also when this is in correct position uh, we should see the uh, markings on the sprocket aligned with the cylinder head and that's something we will see at the moment I hope you can see but there is those small scratches scratches on the uh, sprocket so we have to believe that this is now in correct position and we can start to uh, attach the valve cap.